It looks incredible. I like love his design. <laughs> nice butt, by the way. <laughs> Wonderful <laughs> butt. Welcome back to another episode of The Speed Drawings. We're doing something a little bit different. Instead of Nolan showing us his Dankrai characters, we have Kelly. Hello. <laughs> Uh, you can go ahead and introduce yourself and then... Um, my name is Kelly and I am a background drawer for Dinkrate. Awesome. And who do we have here? This is Kay Bryson. Um, he is the D&D character for um, Roll to Hit. Um, Tangie's campaign that she's... Yeah. We're gonna have coming out pretty soon here, hopefully, if it's on the right timeline. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is like one of the harder art styles that I do. I rarely do it because it, it, it's a pain. I'm actually <laughs> surprised it came out at all to start with. Um, that was like a miracle. Um, it looks incredible. I like love his design. <laughs> nice butt, by the way. <laughs> Wonderful <laughs> butt. So pronounced. He was supposed to have a tramp stamp, but I decided against it. I think you should have kept it. Nobody's going to see it because it's a... <laughs> um, I don't know about that. Um, and um, he's... Well, I almost made him an elf because he's super pretty, but then I thought, um, what would be funnier than a human that's prettier than all the elves? Because I think he's pre the prettiest one in the campaign so far. Oh, yeah. Like, I haven't seen the other characters, like, pictures of them, except for um, Joey's, but... Have you seen Vidanya? I have Tangie did a commission by somebody and it looks incredible. I want to see that. Yeah. yeah. I He's still the prettiest. Yeah, <laughs> he is. I He's love his design. To be I made him before I actually made so any much. Of the backstory. Really? Yeah. I was like, I want a pretty boy. Made pretty boy. Oh no, background. <laughs> so what's his class and all that? I don't. I don't. I haven't been um, in is, on it. <laughs> he is a phantom rogue. Phantom Rogue. Which means he can talk to the dead. Oh, awesome. And eventually he's going to be able to go, like, Danny Phantom in ghost mode. Oh, that's so go cool. through things, which I'm... That's only, it's like at level 13, though, and we're only level 3. Oh, right. So <laughs> I'm, I'm hopeful we'll get there. Um, he's about 5'11". Um, I didn't actually write his height anywhere on there, but he's, he's pretty tall. Yeah. I mean, it's tall to me. We're, we're around the same height. He's taller than me, technically, but... Wait, how tall are you? Like 5'9"? I'm 5'2". <laughs> are you actually? Yeah. Are you sure? That's what we'll have to, we'll, okay. we'll have to compare uh, heights later. <laughs> I mean, we're boots. <laughs> that's true. So, I... That's weird. I didn't know you were that tall. Um... Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so they all end up in prison, and um, I that was we were given very vague instructions. Um, and one of the instructions was find a reason to be in prison. And since he is um, a grave digger, mortician person, like from a family trade, I decided that um, he was going to be doing the opposite of what he usually does and um, grave robbing. Nice. He was um, looking for his brother, Spotty, and a church groom. Hmm. Because he had a dream that um, the church grim told him in the dream that if he dug up his brother's body and a church grim and brought them to an altar of the, the god of death, um, he could bring his brother back. And his brother died in like a horrible accident when he moved off to college. That's so sad. And he that was like his favorite brother. So he was like, of course I'm going to try to bring him back. I'm not going to question this weird dream I had. <laughs> That probably means nothing, or could be a trickster or something. Oh boy. He was like, didn't question it, so he went and he went to a different city where his brother was going to college, and he started digging, but he had no idea where the body was buried, so he just dug up the entire graveyard. Oh. And got caught. I bet. <laughs> oh, wow. So, um... <sighs> I can't say that. Okay. Well, that's awesome. I think he's really cool. Do you have anything else you want to add about him? Um, he learned, well, he, um, when he was five, he tripped in a graveyard that night and, like, cracked his jaw open, and it was, like, bleeding heavily in the graveyard, <laughs> and, um, 
So he fell unconscious, and he woke up and he could talk to ghosts. Oh. So that's how he got his powers. And became a phantom. That's... Rogue. <laughs> it's so interesting. I love that. Talk about a dead language. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Alrighty. Um, and then, moving on, we have another D&D character from a different campaign. Or and... this one, if he dies. Or, yeah. <laughs> Dang. Uh... Which, she looks awesome. I believe this is from the one that we were playing with Dustin, is that right? Yeah. Um, cool. But that one didn't have a name. No? Um, this is Zinnia Harlow. Zinnia um, Harlow. She's about 5'7". I think I actually write her height somewhere on here. Um, she was one of the... I've only done this art style a few times, and it's the same one as the other one, even though they don't look totally similar. The right. reason why is I've only done this about um, seven times and it's really hard so I don't like it. <laughs> it, looks it looks great. Fantastic. But it's it's very hard and I don't particularly <laughs> enjoy it. Um, but I wanted them to look nice. So um, I do. she is a half elf and um, I don't know what kind of half elf. I was allowed to be very vague. Um, she's not a drow even though her eyes are pink. Hmm. Um, we weren't allowed to make drows. Um, I just think she's neat. I like her. Her, <laughs> I love her entire color scheme. aesthetic is um, pink. I see that, and I like that. Like, rose pink. Um, she is a chaotic neutral. Ooh, um, the sword. She is, actually uses... Um, I just wrote sword in here. It's a specific kind of sword. It's for fencing. It's a fencing sword. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, she is a swashbuckler. Um, swashbuckler. Swashbuckler rogue. I love her hat. She her hat keep really that. just sells it. But, and I think you should bring it back. <laughs> I'm sure she's got it in a bag somewhere. Yeah. But um, she, unlike Kate, is not a nice person. Actually, she's um, incredibly selfish. She plays nice. Like she wants people to be her friend superficially so she can know everything about them but she doesn't actually care for people hmm. um she like gets a power rush from holding on to secrets that people have and tell her like knowing she has that power over them that if they like did something she could be like oh well did you know that your husband cheated on you god damn she is very um she's an asshole yeah i love that for her she I, I like the the pink aesthetic to go with that. Yeah. That really She's just... Super uh, girly. <laughs> I love it. And I love her sword. It looks so cool. It's like... Somewhat reminds me of Sailor Moon, but in a much more tolerable way. A lot of bright colors. I do like Sailor Moon. Okay. <laughs> That's sad. Um... It's actually based off a real sword I found, um, that's actually the same kind of sword that she uses. But then I went and changed a bunch of the decorations and the colors, and her scheme also has a moon in it. Um, should have, I don't think it made it into the final piece for her having it everywhere. But she used to have, like, moons on decorating her buckles and stuff. Hmm. Um, I see so many things everywhere in here. Her hair is too short. <laughs> her hair actually is longer than that in the full body picture. It actually comes down to like mid back. But I just nice. It's a cropped picture. It's fine. It looks it's good. Fine. It looks incredible. Well, um, I love them. Um her dad was murdered and they brought her the bloody sword that killed him back to her family and they've like presented it to like a four year old and was like, your dad died by this, just so you know. Cause hot. the guards are not very sympathetic to people. So, it's kind of part of the reason she's very, um, cruel to people. Hmm. Trauma. Trauma. We love it. Makes the world go round. Alrighty! <laughs> I love them. I can't wait for Tangie's campaign to come out because it's going to be super awesome. Just from what I've heard, it's, it's so much fun. And then... Hopefully, one day in the next ten years, we'll be able to finish Dustin's campaign. Gosh. Which isn't being twitched, unfortunately. It was just like a thing that we were doing and never finished. <laughs> Start over. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And I think we're done here. Thank you for joining us on another episode of Speed Drawings. Oh, gosh. I guess it doesn't really have a name. Speed Drawings. Bye, Kelly. Bye.